I am going to create a boundary for our area of interest. To create a boundary, you need to create new uh, polygon layer. So I'm going to go to layer, create layer. I'm going to create a new shape file layer. The file name is going to be, I'm going to save the file name in the same same folder, the chess folder, data. And I'm going to save it in the point sampling tool there. there. Then I'm going to call this the boundary. I'm going to click on save. Then the geometry type is a polygon. Then the projection I can match it to our our project projection, which is uh, uh, the project projection, which is uh, 37 north, UTM 37 north. Then I'm just going to put one column there called maybe say say the name, or maybe it's a text text data. Then I'm going to add it to fill. Then I'm going to say okay. That is enough. So I have my new boundary layer here. So I'm going to digitize a new boundary. First of all, I'm going to just uh, make the boundary hollow. So I'm going to go to symbology. Then I'm going to make it a simple line. And I'm also going to change the color to a red color and just increase its size a bit. And we are good to go. I'm going to click on apply. Okay have and now i have my my boundary ready for digitizing so it's just an empty boundary so we need to add some information here so i'm going to start editing by clicking on right click on it and then going to toggle edit and you can see now all my tools here are active so i'm just going to create a i can actually just digitize randomly but i want to create a regular rectangle so i'm just going to select a rectangle from extent then I'm going to just create a very nice extent here so this is the area that I'm interested in and I'm going to call it a that's the area so I'm interested in creating random points here so that I can go maybe to the field and maybe just do some ground truthing. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on save and stop editing. So I have my layer boundary here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create random points within this layer bound. So I'm going to go to vector, research tools. Then there are very many things you can actually do here. You can actually create random points in an extent or you can either create a regular points in in, a, in an extent or a layer bound. You can also create random points inside a polygon. So for this exercise, we're just going to create regular points within this polygon. So I'm going to select uh, regular points. Then um, the input extent is, I'm going to just select, calculate this extent from the boundary. You can actually calculate it from maybe say the DEM output or, or whatever other uh, layer that is visible here. So it's up to you to decide. So I'm going to just use my my extent. Then the point spacing count is going to be maybe say because it's in meters. I'm going to say maybe say after every two kilometers, which is two thousand meters, I'm going to be having a point. Then I need to leave everything else that, as it is, and I'm just going to create a temporary layer. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to click on run. And it has told me the regular points has finished. So I'm going to click on close. And you can see now I have some regular points within my layer bound. You can actually decide to maybe measure the distance between one layer to, to just as I say, if it, if it is two kilometers. So I'm just going to click on the measure tool on the toolbar. And then I'm just going to select one point and you can see it is actually two kilometers by two kilometers.